Hi, welcome. In this video, I want to talk about the history and evolution of computers. It was in man's quest to come up with something that would assist in matters of calculating and counting. Traditional way of calculating or counting, uh, for example, the use of stones, sticks, fingers, or just the brain were tedious and cumbersome. Because of this, man always wanted to find a solution to that which was a pressing matter back then. In 3000 BC, we discover that in China, they came up with a simple mechanical machine which they called Abacus. Back then, this was considered the great innovation and achievement in man's pursuit of finding something that would be helpful in matters of calculations and counting. Let's just move a little bit from that ancient history up to until 1600s where we discover that a lot of machines were made, for example, the notable ones, the, the Pascaline, which was uh, designed by the French mathematician, which performed more advanced calculations than Abacus. From there, a lot more started coming up because these achievements opened now the way to man's thinking of saying they can come up now with something more advanced. And if we scroll now down the, the line of history, we we'll discover that we found something we can call a mechanical computer. For example, the Mark I was invented. And later on, some more computers started coming. Though so they were very big, like a, a, a single room would just occupy one CPU, or let's just say a computer. They were using, for example, instead of us, who use transistors and hard drives to keep memories, and to do the, the, the processes that are done or performed in a computer. They were using those uh, vacuum tubes and punch cards. Again, from there, in 1900s, we discover that more computers were now coming. Though they were slower than compared to the ones we have, but man continued developing and computers continued to evolve. In 1971, we discovered that Americans came up with the keyboard, which was a great achievement also. And from there, we have now what we can say an electronic computer, a modern computer, which is different from the mechanical computers that we have talked about from 3000 BC up until 1900s. So this modern computer, which uses the binary system, the zeros and the ones, uh, the zeros which stands for when the charge is off and the ones which represents when the charge is on. Okay, so this time they define it now, a modern computer, as an electronic device that can perform the sequences of arithmetic and logic operations. So. As you can see, the computer stretches as back as 3000 BC up until today and there is still a chance for computers to continue evolving and become greater and more powerful that can assist. If we see, the first intention was just to make a calculator, something that can perform arithmetic operations. But because of man innovation, they came up with now a modern computer which does not only just perform arithmetic operations but also logic operations where data is manipulated. The zeros and the ones that the machine understands can be manipulated to letters and languages that man would understand because of the introduction of programming languages. <laughs> and programming languages also will talk about it. It has evolved from the ones we started with up until here where we have the pythons and the javascript so thank you very much this was the history a brief history of computers and thank you for watching so continue following us because we want to give you the basics so that you would understand why a computer performs the way it performs and how a lot has been put in computer and you'd find yourself one of those who come up with computers like we always dream about the quantum computers those are now the dreams because man is still thinking to come up with something which is greater than that which we have achieved thank you very much this was chanda agritech a place where we gain practical let don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel chanda agritech there you'll be learning and notified of new lessons and important ones 
Thank you very much. Good to see you. Bye bye.